<laughs> I just posted my book haul. So who's ready for the August wrapped up? Wrapped up. That's a word. Wrap up. I am. So this month I did not do very good. I read eight books. That's terrible. Like I was busy because school started. School started, so I was in a, I did, went in a slump. I just had a lot of homework. So let's get started. The first book I read this month, and I cannot believe this was the longest because it feels like forever ago. I read This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl. And if you guys don't know, this is the girl that gave John Green the inspiration to write The Fault in Our Stars. And I read it, and it was beautiful and sad and inspirational and amazing. And Esther is a beautiful, beautiful young lady. And I am so fortunate to be able to have read this because I loved it so much. And I gave it five stars. And I'm not just giving her a pity five stars. Like, oh, it's a girl with cancer, so I can't give it five, I can't give it two stars. No, it was fantastic. Her writing was funny and sweet and just amazing all around. The next book I read was Cruel Beauty by Rosa Montage. This is about a girl named, I think her name is Nyx, named Nyx, and all because of a bargain that her father struck, she's going to have to marry the most feared prince of the kingdom called, like, what's he called? I don't know. I read the Ignat Effects. I think it's like, well, he has a name like the Gentle Lord or something. And she has to marry him. And then, of course, what does she do? She falls in love with him, as it says right there. <laughs> so it's really, really interesting. And I do recommend it. The next book I read, technically, I was My friend just texted me, are you filming? Yes, Emily, I am. <laughs> okay, so the next book, I wasn't, I didn't technically read it. I read the last 114 pages. Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. I read the first, obviously, whatever... 114 minus whatever 395 or whatever so or 92 I think so um it's because in some month like July or something I read the first um I read like the first large chunk I only have like 140 pages left and I got I don't even remember why I think I was like waiting for someone to give me back a book I loaned them or like waiting for something to release or I don't even know but I put it down to read something else needless to say I came back and finished it Loved it. If you don't know, it's about this girl who starts to fall in love with a werewolf. Huh, oh, Twilight now. No. It's really, really good because the characters are actually really funny. The next book I read is Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Rowell. And it was so, so good. It's about this girl who comes from a not very good home life. And she be she begins to get close with this guy named Park who is who has a nice home life. You know, good parents and all that and blah, blah, blah. And I thought it was really good. It was like sad and it was not my favorite Rainbow Owl book. It didn't even touch Land Liner Fangirl. I'm really sorry to have to say that. But it was good. It really, really was. So I don't think I didn't like it, but you know. I recommend it though. I do recommend that. The next book I read, Looking for Alaska by John Green. I finally hopped on it. That's right, guys. He is my favorite author because I read one of his books. Then I hopped on. Yeah, it was so good and so funny and heartbreaking and perfect and amazing and perfect and perfect. So, um, if you, again, don't know, it's about this guy named Miles who's kind of quiet and shy and then he goes to a boarding school and there's this girl named Alaska who's really eccentric and awesome and pulls him out of his funk. Basically every other book, also very typical of a John Green book, if I must say. Then I read... Paper Towns by John Green. Back to back. I read this in two days and then I picked up this and read it in two days. And um, again, this quieter, shyer dude with a fun essential girl breaks him out of a shell. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> Have you ever seen this before? I have. Anyway, oh my gosh, he's looking for Alaska and he's looking for Margo. <laughs> Is that a thing? It was so good. It was so good. I don't, I don't, it was amazing. So now that I read all of the books by John Green that just John Green wrote, like, I got like halfway through Will Grayson, but the profanity was so bad because of David Love at the end. Yes, I'm blaming it on him because John Green does not cause like that. Um, I couldn't get through it because the profanity was terrible. So yeah, I couldn't get through that. <laughs> and then Let It Snow, I'm waiting to read that till Christmas. But so now I have read all of John Green, just John Green books. I read Faulkner Stars and I read a bunch of Catherine's and these babies. And they were so good. And John Green is still my favorite author. He is the best. I don't even know. Okay, so the next book I read, 
good grief, it gets heavier every time I pick it up. If anybody has bought that, do they feel that too, that it gets heavier every time you touch it? Um, Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, which looks like an encyclopedia, is in the format of an encyclopedia, but honestly, it is a novel that's just big. It's narrated by Percy, so it was great to hold over for one of all of this because it was narrated by Percy. Percy was talking and it was amazing because I hadn't heard Percy talk in about a year. Oh gosh, I miss that kid. I miss that kid so much. So, and he's just telling all the myths. So it's not tragic and gross and terrible, all these myths. It's hilarious because Percy's talking. Percy is telling you the Greek myths. What about that is not intriguing? So you're gonna have to go right there. Then the last book I read was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. And you guys know, you guys know how amazing I thought it was. And it was brilliant. And then I don't, where did I put it? Oh, and then I decided to throw this one in Scarlet because I only have about 120 pages left. And I'm honestly, yeah, I don't know why I'm putting this in here because if I finish it tomorrow or the next day, it'll be September. But, you know. So can I count this one? Because I wanted to have read it back to back, which technically I did because I finished Cinder then picked up Scarlet. So I read Cinder and Scarlet and um, fantastic. I am so far preferring Cinder, but you know, we'll see what happens. But so I think I did pretty good for my first week in, well, my first month in high school because I've had homework and then tests to study for and then studying for just regular things and then school and then I've had to go to bed earlier because I'm dying of tiredness and fatigue and fatigueness and all that and I still managed to find time to read. <laughs> so everyone, that was my August wrap up and tell me down below what you guys read this month and if you liked it or not and how you've been keeping up with it if you've started school yet. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.